Okay. Uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for this uh, precious opportunity. Uh, I'm very happy to announce uh, uh, set up the OSPO uh, in Toyota. Uh, so I'm Masato Endo uh, from Toyota Motor Corporation, or manager of the uh, Toyota OSPO. And a uh, uh, brief introduction uh, by myself. Uh, I'm a manager of the o OSPO of Toyota. And uh, at the same time, I also uh, engaged in the uh, management of the system development, uh, driver diagnosis system, uh, to connect uh, the uh, vehicle information from each uh, vehicle and uh, to uh, analysis each driver's attitude, uh, safety or dangers, and so on. And uh, we feed back to each driver uh, for the eco driving and uh, uh, safety driving. Uh, and uh, we uh, collaborate with the uh, insurance company and so on. And uh, I also uh, engage in the Linux Foundation's Open Chain project as an automotive chair and a board member uh, to promote the uh, supply chain management of open source software. And uh, recently, uh, I joined the uh, United States Japan uh, leadership program uh, uh, because uh, I think uh, many US uh, friends uh, taught, taught me about the open source. So I'd like to uh, strengthen uh, the relationship with the US and Japan. So I decided to uh, join the, this uh, uh, this uh, foundation also, and then becomes a fellow. And this is uh, my LinkedIn uh, address. Uh, please uh, search and uh, other friends. And uh, at first, uh, uh, I'd like to uh, introduce the comment uh, from the Anasan uh, from TD to the group and the Shensan uh, of the Open Chain project. Okay. One. Hi everyone, I'm Ana Jimenez and I'm the Project OSPO Project Manager at Tito Group, one of the Linux Foundation projects. And actually I'm really thrilled to see that Toyota has built its OSPO. I think that it's awesome and I really uh, uh, think that we are seeing a massive launch of OSPO setup and those are great news because it's a commitment of organizations such as like Toyota to contribute to open source, to be committed with open source, and I give all my best to the OSPO team at Toyota. Wow. So. Okay, I'd like to say a few words about the Toyota OSPO and Toyota's broader engagement with the open source community. Toyota has long been one of the strongest investors in open source for instance, contributing a lot to AGL. It's also been a huge pillar of support for professional open source management. It has contributed to things like the Open Chain Project and the ISO standards for license compliance and security assurance for many years. Under the leadership of people like Endosan, we've seen Toyota help not just itself and its direct supply chain, but all users of open source understand and manage it more effectively. Now, as we look to the future and Toyota's OSPO today and tomorrow, we can see that Toyota is very well positioned to continue as a leader, to continue driving the automotive sector and inspiring other industry verticals in areas of open source governance. The value of an OSPO and the value of the people at the Toyota OSPO with their knowledge and energy and experience cannot be overstated. I'm very glad to work with the Toyota team and I look forward to what we will do together next. Okay, thank you, uh, Shane and uh, Anna. Uh, Shane is already uh, flying to the Sweden after uh, recording this video. Okay. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to uh, inform and uh, share about uh, our experience uh, to uh, set up the, uh, before the OSPO. And uh, uh, we uh, also uh, want to share about the uh, key activities of OSPO. Uh, it's uh, just started, so it is not uh, completed that. But uh, we'd like to uh, share and uh, discuss about our activity. 
And uh, this, uh, this is a history of the Toyota's open source activity. Uh, uh, we joined the Linux Foundation uh, about 13 years before. And uh, after that, uh, we contribute to the uh, established uh, automotive grade Linux. And uh, uh, after that, uh, some engineer coming to me. Uh, I was a patent engineer in that period. So uh, the engineer said, uh, we, we'd like to uh, adapt the Linux for our vehicles. So what to do? So I also don't know about the uh, open source well. And uh, I'm, I, I was a patent guy. So uh, at first, I'm very uh, surprised. And uh, I, I have to study the open source well. And uh, I uh, and uh, my team, uh, after that, uh, decided to join the uh, Open Invention Network. And uh, after that, uh, we uh, also uh, joined the Open Chain project and uh, set up Digital Risk Group. Uh, this group was focused on the how to uh, manage the risks of the uh, open source or other uh, software, uh, because uh, almost all software is come from the suppliers or vendors at, on, in that period. But uh, uh, from uh, that period, uh, the, some uh, in the development is all, also uh, proceeding, proceeded. So uh, we uh, decided to make the temporary uh, group uh, to handling the uh, process and the policy of the handling the open source software. And uh, finally, uh, we got the ISO. And uh, after that, uh, we making the process of the uh, contribution and uh, usage and so on. Uh, but uh, some uh, community activities are uh, only the some uh, special engineers. It is not a uh, usual thing. So uh, I want to make the OSPO. Uh, to spread the open source uh, concept and the uh, uh, community activities for uh, all, all of the Toyota, not only Toyota, but also Toyota Group. And the uh, uh, first step of the uh, open source activity is AGL. AGL is uh, to develop the IVR system, uh, operation system, uh, uh, using the Linux. And uh, we uh, contribute to the, uh, establish the, that uh, community. And uh, we also contribute to our specification of navigation systems. And uh, we also uh, contribute to the source code also. And uh, we uh, adopt uh, our products uh, about uh, seven years uh, before. And uh, after that, uh, the number of the vehicle uh, is uh, increasing uh, using the AGL. And of course, uh, other OEMs uh, vehicle is also uh, increasing, uh, adopt, uh, adopting uh, AGL. And uh, I already said uh, we have to uh, thinking the some process to handling the open source software and uh, to reduce the risk or to uh, handling the appropriate uh, process uh, of the uh, copyright or security or uh, IP issues. And uh, at first, uh, we uh, become the uh, board member of the Open Invention Network uh, to uh, defining the safety patent zone uh, of open source. Uh, OIN uh, concept is a little uh, different from the usual uh, cross license scheme. Uh, usual cross license scheme defines uh, the, uh, some specific patents and uh, to uh, exchange the license. But the uh, OIN license uh, defines some uh, packages or software like uh, Linux kernel, Android, uh, AGL, and so on. So if uh, the package is uh, uh, allowed uh, the OIN packages, uh, the member of the OIN can't uh, using the patent for the, uh, such type of software. So uh, this cross-license scheme can uh, protect, uh, uh, everyone can use uh, such type of software like uh, Linux kernel, Android, AGL, uh, can use uh, but, uh, with a relief-free uh, mind. Uh, of course, uh, third-party patent is not, uh, risk is not reduced, but uh, uh, there are um, 4,000 4, members is already exist. So uh, OIN becomes a, a very good uh, 
system uh, inside the open source world. And uh, we also, uh, so, uh, when uh, I joined the, we joined the OIN, and uh, after that, uh, many uh, US or other international uh, friends uh, of open source world say, uh, I think uh, uh, patent risk is good uh, for becoming the uh, member of the OIN. But uh, you also have to uh, handle the copyright issues because I think uh, uh, license is very important uh, to respect the opinion, uh, the intention of each engineer. So uh, I also uh, think so. And uh, from the, uh, Toyota software has come from the many vendors and suppliers. So if, even if uh, only Toyota uh, do, to do the appropriate manner, uh, it is no, no sense. So we have to uh, see the whole supply chain and we have to manage the appropriate manner uh, about the copyright or another things. So uh, we decided to become the uh, Open Chains member and uh, we uh, got the conformance uh, from the uh, uh, Open Chain. And uh, we also want to spread the, this concept all over the, our industry. So uh, uh, the, uh, uh, on that period, uh, there are a few uh, channels to uh, exchange the information and uh, know-how about the open source license compliance. So uh, uh, we and uh, Hitachi-san and Sony-san uh, decided to make the uh, Japan work group of open chain. And uh, I also uh, uh, set up the uh, automotive uh, work group of open chain to exchange the information and uh, to uh, share the best practice and uh, uh, to discuss about the common uh, issues of each industry. Uh, for example, uh, in open chain Japan work groups, uh, there are some headaches. Uh, each company has uh, headaches, like uh, Hitachi, Fujitsu, uh, some companies. Uh, uh, for example, uh, we, uh, uh, my company has to collect the S bomb from the, uh, each suppliers. And uh, in, in that period, uh, Excel format is very popular uh, inside the industry. But each Excel format is different. So uh, it is very difficult uh, to uh, integrate uh, and uh, to uh, handling the uh, open source information for the license compliance. So uh, inside the uh, Japan work group, uh, we discussed, uh, we, we want to uh, define the minimum requirement of the s bomb and uh, we can uh, using the, uh, well, we can follow the, some SPDX, uh, we can f we follow the SPDX, but uh, we want to make the uh, some uh, very brief Excel uh, format uh, to exchange the information. And uh, uh, after that, uh, we uh, proposed uh, this format to the uh, SPDX community, and uh, they also uh, allowed, uh, including the one uh, option of the SPDX. I think this is a uh, first step of the S bomb. I think it is, uh, SPDX light is very light format. It's not uh, uh, content, uh, many information. So uh, if uh, at first uh, we can, uh, we and our uh, suppliers adapt SPDX light. And the second step, uh, we, we want to uh, uh, collect from the, uh, by the SPDX uh, format. So I think, uh, I think this step is very important because it is very difficult uh, for uh, to. Uh, it is very difficult. Uh, each supplier uh, sent uh, SPDX uh, perf perfect uh, information uh, at first time. So uh, we uh, we discuss uh, SPDX right and propose that. Propose that. Uh, I think uh, this is a uh, very needs-based activities, uh, like uh, uh, my usual uh, open source activities. And uh, 
we don't intend to the, uh, it becomes a global standard at first, but I think uh, uh, as a country, as a, as a company also has the same headache. So uh, finally, uh, this, is, this format becomes a global standard. And uh, I already said uh, AGL, uh, but uh, as a, uh, our robotics team is also uh, very aggressive to uh, contribute to the community. For example, uh, HSR, Human Support Robot Team, uh, want to make uh, their uh, robot technology with the community. Uh, they already uh, ex expanded uh, 557 uh, research institutes uh, all over the world. And uh, they, they think, they, they thought, uh, we want to expand the research uh, more and more. So uh, they, uh, they uh, disclosed the source code of the uh, robot simulator uh, to enable uh, more people participate in the, its software development. As a result, uh, some uh, high school students uh, joining the uh, development of software and the community is uh, expand more and more. And uh, we also uh, proposed Akari. Uh, this is also an AI camera robot. Uh, it is, uh, the purpose is uh, to open the door for everyone to participate in the robot development. So uh, they, uh, 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 the engineer team decided to disclose uh, not only software, but also the design information of the hardware also uh, disclosing. So uh, my, our robot team was uh, very uh, aggressive for the open source world. Uh, but uh, I think uh, the software is become more, uh, important more and more our automotive industry. Uh, but I already said uh, it is very limited people uh, either, uh, have the passion to the open source activities. Uh, most of uh, engineers is uh, worry about uh, we, we can uh, do that uh, uh, to disclose the source code. Uh, is, it, is it a secret or not? And uh, uh, some uh, executives not, not know about the open source well. So uh, I'd like to uh, expand uh, the open source activity uh, inside Toyota. So uh, we decided to make the OSPO. I think uh, this is a, a five step of the uh, open source activities inside the uh, company, uh, Linux Foundation defined. Almost all our uh, engineer is uh, stage one. Uh, they, uh, they, they are aware uh, about the open source and they know about the rules of the license and so on. But uh, they do not know about the uh, community education and so on. So uh, we'd like to, uh, we'd like to uh, up, uh, become, become uh, we, we want to become the uh, more higher stage. So we uh, decided to making the OSPO. So uh, I already said uh, we our, our final goal is uh, become the stage four, uh, but it takes time. Uh, so uh, we'd like to uh, make a strategic use OSS and the community contribution uh, come on inside the Toyota and uh, uh, Toyota Group also. And uh, finally, uh, we want to achieve the uh, software innovation uh, with the community. This is our West Sports mission. Uh, this is uh, our company's uh, OSPOS function and, uh, 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 and uh, relationship with the community. Uh, OSPOS supported uh, our employee and uh, engineers. And so uh, almost all uh, security issues is, uh, uh, see by the security development division. And uh, uh, legal IP issue she by the uh, IP division, but uh, we we cooperate with uh, uh, such type of uh, division, and uh, to support the employees because uh, I think there are many rules and uh, many information inside the company, and uh, like uh, related to the open source, but uh, it is uh, very difficult to understand uh, by the uh, uh, 
inference can't uh, in understanding, very complicated. So we gather the information and uh, uh, we uh, distribute the information to, uh, from the OSPO, all information uh, directly uh, is a, a very clear uh, way uh, to uh, promote the understanding of the open source. And of course, uh, we uh, support of the using of the open source and the contribution uh, inside the, uh, to the community uh, also. Uh, we also, uh, our OSPO team also directly communicate with the community and uh, contribute it, uh, like uh, open chain uh, to the group and the OIN. And uh, now discussing, uh, we uh, set up the three key activities of OSPO. Uh, this is under discussion, but uh, it just form is uh, shape, shaped uh, a little by little. At first, I think uh, culture is uh, very interesting because uh, we are not a uh, tech giant. Uh, we are very uh, traditional hardware-oriented company. So uh, how to change uh, our engineer's mindset uh, is very important because uh, some uh, software engineer come from the outside Toyota and uh, they are very uh, aggressive for the community works. But even if uh, the inside the Toyota people is not know about that, uh, well, they, uh, it is not happy things happen. So uh, we want to make the culture uh, little by little. Uh, for example, uh, we conduct the uh, inner event to uh, promote the understanding of open source. And uh, we share the whole information uh, using the internet. And uh, we also uh, make, uh, make the education and uh, define the process. Uh, and for example, uh, we uh, distribute the uh, comic, uh, like comic, uh, open source education comics, because uh, I think open source is not uh, for only the engineers. Sometimes uh, sales people or purchasing people is, have to know about the open source, but uh, it is more, it is very difficult about technical issues. So uh, my Japanese people like the uh, comics and animation. So we uh, make the comics uh, to easy understanding uh, of open source concept and uh, uh, how to do uh, handling the open source. And uh, this is just uh, discussing. Uh, we want, we'd like to uh, set up some rewards or awards program of the uh, open source issues uh, because uh, I, I'm, was in intellectual property division and the patent is also uh, promoted by the some awards or rewards. So of course, uh, I think uh, it is a uh, uh, temporary, uh, temporary way, but uh, I think uh, it is very important to uh, promote the awareness of the open source and uh, import to tell the importance of open source. And uh, second is a strategy. I think uh, uh, strategy is different from the each technology and uh, each uh, com community. So it is very difficult to define the one strategy. But uh, I think uh, the most important thing is uh, to support the each engineer's intentions and, and uh, uh, to support the appropriate uh, support uh, from the company is most important. So. Uh, we discuss with the uh, uh, engineer well, and uh, what is uh, what do you want uh, support? Uh, discuss well and uh, uh, to support uh, appropriate support uh, uh, based on the each community and each engineer. And uh, of course, uh, OSPO is also work with uh, community like uh, LOF, uh, Open Chain, and uh, OIN, and uh, to the group and AJ also. Uh, I think uh, each uh, engineer have have the strategy, and uh, but uh, it is not uh, meet the uh, companies. Uh, I think uh, each engineer's needs is sometimes uh, very short and sometimes very long term, uh, long term, and uh, our companies also have to uh, make the relationship with the 
long term uh, with the community. So we continue the communication, OSPO also continue the communication with uh, uh, many communities. And uh, finally, uh, we also uh, are focused on the tools uh, like a scan tool and the SBO management system. Uh, I think, uh, we, of course, uh, IP division or security division also uh, want, want to do the tools. But uh, I think uh, uh, security people uh, not, not, not say about the license issues and uh, uh, IP people can't say about the uh, security issues. So uh, our teams uh, discuss with each parties and uh, to uh, merge the each needs and uh, to making the system with the system development team. Uh, this is a position of the OSPO. And uh, I think, of course, uh, SBOM is very important uh, for open source management. But uh, uh, SBOM is also a very useful tool uh, uh, for the uh, uh, proprietary software. So I think uh, uh, it is not uh, from the OSPO, but also uh, proprietary development team also uh, uh, have to say the needs and uh, to match and uh, to integrate it and uh, making the system is a good way. So uh, we decided to uh, tool is also important factor of our OSPOs. Okay, uh, this is the final slide of uh, me. And uh, uh, there are the two uh, keywords of the Toyota way. One is against uh, game two, uh, is uh, go and see for yourself. Uh, I think uh, uh, when uh, the trouble is happened in the factory in Toyota, uh, someone uh, is only the handling the, this issue, uh, hearing the telephone or uh, mail or uh, Teams or uh, Slack and so on. But it's not a good thing for in Toyota. Please go to the uh, factory and uh, please go to the line uh, to see the issue by yourself. I think this is all, all, also important for the open source world. I think uh, to communicate with uh, engineers and uh, uh, community people is uh, very important. So I come here uh, from Japan. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, Kaizen is also important. Uh, Toyota is not satisfied with uh, in this situation every time. It is not happy, I think. But uh, it is very good, uh, uh, good uh, concept uh, for the uh, growing. Uh, so uh, I think uh, I'd like to uh, hear the uh, opinion from the all over the world, and I want to improve our activities. Thanks so much. So is there some question or opinion? Uh, please. Mm -hmm. uh, what about what? Jit, uh, uh, Jira. A uh, hundred the IP. Ah, yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is very uh, broad uh, question. Oh, oh. I think uh, uh, this is also uh, the difference from the each com uh, each uh, software open source software. For example, uh, AGL uh, adopts the Apache two concept. Uh, to uh, accelerate that to increasing the member uh, of the open source uh, uh, AGL uh, because uh, we uh, if uh, adopt the uh, Apache 2 uh, each member can uh, using the source code uh, delivery uh, so but uh, some company hesitate to the contribution uh, because the uh, patent have to disclose so this balance is uh, very uh, difficult and uh, it is uh, different from the each community. So uh, we also uh, cons consultant uh, for each uh, engineer's needs and uh, which license is good uh, or not uh, for this situation. So it depends the situation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah please, please that first. Yeah. 
Thank you. So, yeah, uh, thank you very much. It was really interesting. Um, in one of your previous slides, um, I remember that you had uh, under the umbrella of risk management, you have like uh, um, reputation, quality, security, and uh, uh, legal, mm -hmm. uh, no, license. Yeah, yeah. So, however, I mean, I see there is no functional safety. So, my question is, is that on purpose? I mean, are you envisioning to not use uh, OSPO uh, mm -hmm. project in functional safety or is just... So, ah, yes. Yeah, what is your view here? Uh, I think uh, uh, functional safety is very important. And uh, I, uh, our company also joined the ERISA project. And uh, uh, we uh, also uh, now uh, promote its uh, last foundation is also uh, last is a uh, more uh, secure uh, language. So, uh, of course, uh, we are not a uh, quality and functional safety responsibility division, but uh, we uh, become the window uh, division uh, of the company, uh, communicate with uh, other community. So, uh, we, uh, of course, not only license uh, security, but also functional safety is very important factor uh, for us. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Endo-san, thank you for your insightful presentation. Thank you. Um, I come from the world of manufacturing, where oh. the Toyota production system is oh. very famous <laughs> and very see. well known. Thanks My so question much. is, how have you seen the Toyota production system and its principles applied as part of the open source office? Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. I, I think I also, uh, uh, I already say the Genji Games and Kaizen and the other uh, philosophy of the Toyota is uh, uh, very similar to the open source. Uh, because uh, to uh, uh, develop a little by little and uh, to communicate with uh, uh, many people. Uh, so uh, uh, we'd like to uh, promote this concept uh, inside the open source community. Thanks so much. Yeah. Do you have a process for how you decide whether a project should be more internal and private or moved into the open source mm -hmm. and, and shared? Yeah, so uh, I think uh, it depends on the situation, but uh, uh, the decision making is uh, by the each uh, development division because uh, the IP and uh, other uh, decision making uh, hold, light holder is uh, each division's uh, division leader. So uh, if uh, they, uh, he, uh, want, he or she uh, want to become the open source, we support that. And uh, of course, uh, we uh, consultant and uh, to give the advice, but uh, uh, I think uh, software is, uh, software's holder is uh, each engineer. So I think uh, we'd like to discuss well with the engineer and uh, we uh, take the opinion and uh, intention uh, is the most important thing, I think so. Ah, okay. Um, I, I see you mentioned uh, that there's some very interesting thing about open source education comic. Uh -huh. Is there somewhere we can read a little bit on it or is it strictly internal? Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> In this field, this is only Japanese word, and uh, oh, I think uh, some ideas exist uh, to disclose this comic uh, in GitHub. So uh, I discuss with the, this comic team. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the first, yeah. Uh, as we know, OSPO is uh, can act in a bridge to connect inside and outside of yep. company. In your OSPO, how how you kind of helping uh, the R and D uh, to involve in this open source join the open source communities? Yeah. Uh, so if uh, some uh, uh, question or some uh, day coming to the engineers. Uh, we uh, have the connection with uh, uh, many com uh, community people. 
And uh, we introduced, and uh, we have the, some Zooms or uh, Teams meeting at first, and uh, to uh, communicate, uh, to help the, uh, communicate, uh, to attend with them. Uh, this is at first. Okay, or another thing. Okay. <laughs> Hey, this is um, a little bit more specific on your tooling. Yep. Um, did you guys develop your own scan tools um, within your organization? So to create your SBOM um, uh, reports, is that something that you guys built internally or are you using a third-party vendor to scan your code? Uh, yes, so in this period, uh, there is uh, no uh, official tools inside the Toyota. So each company, uh, each division uh, decided to which uh, tools is good for each uh, development uh, to bridge the CDCI or uh, other scan tool and, uh, and so on. Uh, but uh, I think uh, the needs of the tools is increasing. So we uh, discuss about the official tool uh, of the, op I, I think some options is exist maybe, uh, but uh, uh, to get the uh, budget and uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, provide uh, without uh, each division's budget. This is the first step, and uh, uh, we uh, want to make the SBOM management system is also uh, we can adapt the, uh, each tools because uh, uh, each suppliers and the division are using the different tools. So even if it is so, uh, we the uh, system have to uh, move the appropriately. So we are uh, now discussing about the interface uh, of the, this system right now. Thank you. Okay, uh, Q&A session is finished. Thanks so much. <laughs>